was from Malay school. Yeah, so for those who have actually read uh, my post about two days ago, uh, I find myself I was an ugly, ugly duckling in a way. Uh, I was an introvert, and uh, in a way, sometimes I still say that I am an introvert. So you do not need yeah to be an extrovert to be fast, or you do not need yeah to be an extrovert to do things beyond your comfort zone in a way. Now, what we're gonna cover today is very much into how can we position ourselves differently so that we can actually put less effort in doing things which is actually making us busy and not productive. All of us are busy, but whether or not it is productive. You get what I mean? So since we do not have many of us here, let's make it uh, interactive, yeah? Can I see your hands? Yeah, I heard some of you are actually a student, yeah? How many of you are into your own business? Doing business. Mickey, is it Mickey? So the rest are not really. Oh, coolie. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, besides a few who are actually uh, students, how many of you are unemployment? Unemployment. Yeah, unemployment. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyone who wants to speak? Chris, sure. uh, Chris purposely switch on the video just to show the hand. <laughs> ah, yeah, very good. Yeah, perhaps, yeah, if you can actually, you know, turn on your video later on, uh, maybe I can actually give you some tips, yeah, on how can you do better. Now, since most of you are not into business, so I have to position it in a way more towards on how you can actually use it, yeah, as a magnet for yourself so that, you can actually magnetize the right thing in life. Now, a lot of time, yeah, when we talk about image and brand management, a lot of people mistakenly thinking about appearance. Okay, image is not about appearance. Okay, image is not about appearance. If your appearance is good, yes, in a way, it is an additional bonus to you. But what makes you shine is that you are shining from within how your inner image and the outer image together with your behavior and communication are aligned as one, okay? Now, so a lot of people will, will be very stressed up as in like, oh, I don't look good, I do not have time, I don't have money to, to spend yeah, on unnecessary things. But today, I hope that I can give you some idea on how can you be, okay, something called inattentional blindness. What is inattentional blindness all about? Now, there are many times here, yeah, we have doubts in life. The doubts that you always have is what? Why I've been working so hard and yet nobody see or appreciate my effort, okay? Why I've been actually trying out, you know, doing all these things, but nobody see that what I've done. Why I've actually using all my effort to produce something and yet nobody find it nice, okay? And even for women, why I've been getting married for so long, I've done so much for home and stuff like that, or I've sacrificed so much to my boyfriend and, and husband or whatnot, but why they are not appreciative and stuff like that. If you continue to ask, the list is endless and you will never get an answer because all this are something happening in our life. Okay, so I hope that you have good internet uh, connection. I want to show you a video, yeah? Let me share my screen. Uh, let me make you a co-host, uh. Maybe, you, do you need to become uh, a yeah. co-host? Yeah, wait. Up to you. At least, uh, so long I can share screen, that will be good. Yeah, sure. Hmm. All right. Okay, hold on. Oh, uh, very professional, uh. Okay. Ah, cool, uh. See this one? Uh, very quick one. Well, I, I will not go through the whole deck, yeah? Because, mm. um, okay, we just have limited time. Now, please look at the screen, yeah? And the first video I want to show you is that, please count how many times the player wearing white passed the ball, yeah? Please count how many times the player wearing white passed the ball. The players wearing white passed the ball. Okay, sounds simple. One, two, three. Okay. 
Jesus. Uy, why go on back then? Come out. <laughs> Suddenly. Hmm. How many times? Uh, I don't know. Six, eight. Six, eight. How, how about the rest? You can actually type in the chat box. What, I think 12. I, I counted 12. Okay, we have 12, we have 15, we have 8, and how about the rest? You, you miss count or the internet connection is not good? Now, how many of you spotted a gorilla walk past at the bike? Yes, I do. Yes, uh, how about the rest? Okay, yeah, Mickey, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, if you saw the gorilla, how many of you noticed that the curtain at the back has changed color? Huh? Oh, no. You have to replay that again. I will, I will, yeah. And how many of you noticed that one of the players wearing black has left the team? Anyone? Hmm. Okay, so how many of you do not know what's happening? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> so let's see what's the answer, yeah? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Right, do you manage to see that the curtain has changed color and one of the player left the team? Okay, so now this is considered the easy one, yeah? So let us actually move into another video. Uh, in this video, let me give you a hint first. I need you to spot the changes. Spot the changes, okay? Spot the changes. So how many changes you managed to spot? Please type in the chat. Oh, and in part, uh, this one. Uh. One, two, three, four. Anyone? Cannot see anything? No changes? Three. Okay, you see three. Okay, three. Wow, very good. Mickey, you, you managed to spot five. Okay. Maybe I'll say see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In fact, yeah, I've shown this video for many years. Many different countries, all different levels from the lower all the way to C-suites level. None of a normal human being can spot more than six. If you manage to see four, four, five, six, you are very good already. If you can see three, four, it's actually pretty common. If you cannot see a thing, don't be sad. <laughs> it just shows that you are extremely common. <laughs> now, okay. there are actually a total of 21 changes. Oh, okay. Okay, in the video. Let's see first before I debrief further.
Okay. Mm. Ha. All right. So how many of you here can tell me why I show these two videos to you and how does these two videos here relates to personal branding? And how does these two videos answers the doubts that all you have all this while? Why I've been, you know, working so hard and yet I don't get promoted? Why I've been sacrificing so much and yet nobody appreciates my effort and stuff like that? Now, uh, okay, I saw someone talk about the attention to details, the priorities. If you have been actually serving in a company for many years and yet um, you, you are not being promoted to the, the station you wanted to be, do not blame anyone. It's just that you're not prominent enough to be seen. Now, in this half an hour, we will actually point out a lot of mean things that's happen happening in life. Like it or not, whether we like it or not, it's happening. So how can we use the shortest times to stand out and not only standing out to survive, but how we stand out to excel, okay? And not being expelled. Now, because there are too many people are doing the same thing as us, yeah? So how can we be different? Okay, so now when we talk about all this, yeah, these are the things is called inattentional blindness. Now, how many of you actually have the idea of like, let's say, for example, if you like someone, okay, no matter what you do, yeah, the person still like you, you know, whether you do it right or wrong. But if someone do not like you, yeah, no matter how hard you try to perform the best, that person just don't like you. Mm. Agree with me? Now, yeah. why is it so? No, actually the two videos yeah, has proven in attentional blindness is actually what is happening now. I'm sure that when you're looking at a screen, some of you try not even to blink your eyes, but yet you cannot see a thing. So this is exactly what happening in life that we are actually in a very competitive world, fast paced on what we are doing are just so ordinary or even if you are doing something special, but yet it is not prominent enough to be seen. Just like simple question, how memory works, yeah? Now, in fact, memory is a choice, you know, why people remember you and how you make people remembering you by default. Okay, so now how many of you, yeah, can remember all the placement of your apps, yeah, in your phone? <laughs> all the placement of the apps. Actually, I tell you what, you and your apps, yeah, all the apps placement. Now, our phone, yeah, is something very intimate with us. Why we say intimate, the last thing, before you sleep, you touch, yeah? It's your phone, not your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. The first thing you touch is the phone, okay? Yeah. Early in the morning, you touch the phone. Or even in the midnight, yeah, you suddenly wake up, you might actually check the phone. If it is so intimate with your phone, yeah? But why can't you remember each of the pages, placement of all apps? I've asked thousands and thousands of people, none of a normal human being can tell me. But when you're looking at it, right? You, you exactly automatically, you will scroll it to the page, you remember that. So this also tells that actually how our memory works. Yeah? When there are so many out there, why you? Just like a lot of girlfriend, boyfriend, also even uh, what they call husband and wife, after so many years of marriage, the wife always say, you know, my local never love me anymore. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't, it's okay. It's in attentional blindness. Just like a lot of young girls nowadays, they go and do the, you know, eyelash extension. You know, a few years ago, I did. Huh? I did. Then I go home and I ask my local. I say, local, ah, any difference or not? Wow, my local can't jump. They look at me. It took him a few seconds, you know, he said, hmm. Then he ching chai say something like he say, Oh, you change your eyeshadow color. <laughs> I, said, I said, not the eyeshadow. Even I know that it is inattentional blindness, but I still scolded him. I said, it's not because of the I uh, uh what do you call eyeshadow and stuff like that. Then after that, he said, Oh, because you asked me that time I have not wear glasses. Ah lama. Now, even my friend, yeah, she cut from long hair to short hair. I think long hair to short hair, you know. Very obvious, yeah, quite prominent. So she went dinner with the lokong. Habis makan, the lokong never say a thing. Gosh, he, she was so angry, you know. And then look at the lokong and do the, the, the hair like that. As if, Can't you see my hair so short idea? Then the lokong look at her and say, Oh yeah, ho? short idea. Ho? Yeah. So even, you see, uh, one thing I actually noticed, you know. Okay, so try to recall back when you first dating, yeah, or your first girlfriend or whatnot. So when you are so into the beauty of your girlfriend, you know, we are focusing on her look and stuff like that. Even though she farted very smelly, you cannot smell a thing. 
So people wow. say love is blind. I tell you what, <laughs> love is not only disturbing your eyesight, you know, it's also the disturbing your smell sense. But a few years after marriage, even though the, the smell doesn't come from your wife, you might actually suspect you are fatal. Lah. You get what I mean or not? So meaning to say in a way, yeah, it depends on what you focus on. Yeah, what you focus on. Now, just like a lot of time, yeah, people introduce themselves, oh, I'm so shy, I'm not confident and stuff like that. Now, why, when you tell me about, let's say, for example, oh, you are very confident, okay? What anchor in my mind is the confidence in you, okay? So the rest of your flaws, I might not be able to see it anymore, okay? And vice versa, if you tell me that you are shy, what focus here is actually the shyness on you. So the rest of your strength, I might not be able to see it anymore unless I want to put effort to notice that. So it tells us on how your posting in social media works as well. On how your posting before people see you in person, what they anchor here. Just like when you share about the introduction, something very good about James, and I find that he is very neutral. Now for your info, yeah, I have actually stopped accepting complimentary session on sharing. Okay, I only speak for non-profit, underprivileged, and uh, association that I have to see whether it's value my time or not. But I find that James, said, uh, when he actually asked me, straight away I say I'm okay with that because it's for a good cause. And I find that he is very neutral as in like, he's an employment, he's a sailor. But whatever he posts yeah, is very much about impacting life. Yeah? And he do not have any interest into getting something beneficial for himself. Yeah, so that's the reason why I agree yeah, to actually talk up and share the session. Now, so back into here. It all boils down in how you create your presence. Yeah. So when we talk about creating presence, this is what we want to talk about. Now, how to be the top of mind? I'm sure that yeah, maybe people like Mickey or whoever in the uh, what they call marketing industry, Creating presence is something that is very eerie feeling. You know? What? Why eerie? Now, how many of you have curfew? When you were young, what's your curfew time to go home? My mother was very strict. My curfew when I was young, even secondary school, my curfew was 10 o'clock. By 10, must go home. Okay? So, of course, some of them showed, told me that it's 7 and 1. Wow, oh, wait, 6. Uh, which compo we are from? <laughs> well, uh, 6. <laughs> Six is very early. Eh? The sky Batman, is not even... Batman also know you're ready. This one already stay at home. So, I tell you what, my, my teenage age, my childhood, I never have those kind of like a um, sleepover with friends and whatnot because my mom is so fierce, I tell you what. Now, when we talk about this, yeah, when about 9.30, 9-ish, yeah, my mom's face pops up in my mind. Even though she's not calling me, she's not doing anything. That is presence. Presence, not necessary. You have to see the person face to face. Just like I, I heard a lot of husbands always share. By, let's say, 12 o'clock, the wife will call them home. Nah, they go drinking and whatnot. By 11, yeah, all of a sudden, the wife face pops up. Or they start to hear the, the shouting you know, voice from the wife and stuff like that. Why is it so? Now, why I say presence is so powerful and so eerie is because you might not see the person, but you doubt it. Now, what is the most powerful thing is that feeling, okay? And the feeling contributes to emotion, okay? I will touch on more on that and it will even help you on how you actually create a little bit more powerful uh, writing in your um, LinkedIn posting or whatnot. I find that it's very useful. Okay, so now when we talk about presence, yeah, uh, from now on, you can actually write down whatever question. You do not need to answer me. If I don't ask you to answer, you, you, it's okay, you choose not to answer. But if you are able to write down, okay, what I shared with you, in the end of the session, you're supposed to find your answer. Okay, you're supposed to find your answer. Now, let's say, yeah, what is your presence in the heart of the person that you want to impress? or even you find that it's important, or maybe that person is someone who might actually create a turning point in your life. Yeah? Let's say, for example, you are very sad, I've been working for 10 years and I go nowhere, I'm still having that uh, position and stuff like that. Now, what is your presence 
uh, or in the in the heart or mind of the person. Let's say, for example, now we are going for holidays. Someone say, "Hey, I tell you, I must call this person. You know, must call, must ajak the the fellow to go." Then you say, "Why? Because it's very humorous, you know, like an entertainer like that." So, meaning to say, this humorous guy in the heart and mind of the people, they are an entertainer. So, this is your presence value in the heart of the person. Okay. So now, what is your presence in the family? Are you a decision maker, or in in your office, or even in school? Are you the one who always call the shots? So you have to know what's your presence. Yeah. So now, when we talk about presence, yeah, because it is something that cannot be seen or felt. Wait, um, let me continue to share the screen. Okay. I will not touch on this one. There's a reason why we might not be able to be the top of mind. What is the top of mind means? Yeah? Okay, this one I have to go. Okay. So now, in order for us to move on into being the top of mind, means that, yeah, let's say, for example, now we have a challenge. We have a challenge. We have a situation. We need a solution. Which name call out? Let's say, for example, when we talk about just now, uh, Mickey, he does um, design, for example. If a company are looking into a design, what name are call out? Yeah, so that is actually the top of mind. So how can we be the top of mind in whatever we are doing, be it in your industry or be it in at home or whatsoever? Now, a few years ago, I joined a course in China. Never before I could imagine I joined a course in China because I'm a banana. Okay, I don't understand uh, what I call Mandarin well. I can speak conversational, uh, conversationally, but not so into understanding Mandarin. But after some rounds, after some testimonial, I went here. Yeah? And to my surprise, yeah, this speaker, his name is actually Li Jian Lao Shi, yeah, the professor Li Jian. He started his speech, yeah, no foreplay, nothing, no introduction. Once he start talking, well, the course started, uh, start jaw. So we are like, hey, why like that one? So the first thing he actually say and tell you is that how to be number one. So back then, a few years ago, in my heart, I say, so crazy, uh, so you know, even mother also dare not tell you, jai, uh, jai, you know, boy, uh, girl, uh, you, can, you must be number one. Now, nobody will tell you how to be number one. But he was actually giving it, you an idea how to be number one in your industry, number one in your state, in your country, and internationally. So he is actually adopting yeah, a skills and a formula, okay, for you to find out how to be the top of mind by using or tweaking some skills, skills yeah, or, or senses, yeah, by just using sense making and making sense. So meaning to say, how can we use sense making to make sense? Now, when we talk about common sense, as all of us know, common sense is not born with. It doesn't come in a package and common sense is not common. So sense making is actually one of the things that make your brand known, seen, felt. Okay, so now a very quick one. Yeah? A lot of people come and tell me since young, because uh, many of you know that, you know, I, I was nobody. Um, just now Julia mentioned, um, uh, I think someone mentioned that, you know, if you are from very humble family and stuff like that, I was also very poor. So those days, I always thought of like who we know is very important. Okay, but in image and brand management, we are not using who we know. We are building who knows you. Okay, so meaning to say, yeah, what we do is actually for building yourself to be a magnet, to magnetize the right thing in life, yeah? And it will be useful for life, okay? So I will not go deep into this one because I do not have much time, just half an hour, unless y'all can actually, you know, stay back a little bit or one more. Let uh, me actually... Wendy, just to cut you a little bit, the microphone, uh, I think got something wrong. I don't know about others. Uh. They can, uh. you, can you hear from Wendy? Uh? Sometimes loud, sometimes... Oh, light, okay. Right? Is it? A, bit, a bit soft sometimes. Yeah. Uh, all right, no worry. Let me, maybe I actually join in with my phone as well. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, okay, hold on. Because i afraid to potong you uh, just now when you talk <laughs> very, uh, very fast speed. Uh. So I also in that maybe my microphone, you know, uh, this one, chipskate one, uh, I don't know, is it my problem or your problem? So I just want to ask everyone. So if, since it's confirmed, uh, so maybe. Okay, hold on, yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, because I thought of like it would be good if I log in to my phone as well. Mm. Give me a minute. As of now, any question? Uh, okay. I, I just join, yeah, please uh, admit me. Yes. Okay. Okay, I will not. Okay. Let me um, I stop sharing. Is it better now? Yes. Yeah, can, can you hear me better? Yes. Ah, okay. So, do, do stop me if you cannot hear me well, you know? All right. All right. Okay. Hmm. So now let us continue. I will not go into the tip of iceberg, but for this particular slide, yeah, I just want to tell you this one. Um, when we talk about in general, yeah, be it whatever nation you are from, I find that a lot of people are very into thinking what is so good about them, okay? And when it is so good, you thought that it's okay. But I have to tell you this one. The word is getting me now. People buy you is not only buying your product or services. They buy an experience whereby we have to offer something called end-to-end. -end. The packaging is as important as the content, okay? So when we talk about the tip of iceberg, sometimes people thought about, hey, I, you know what, I'm good one, you know, inside I'm good. How people know you, you are good inside? You get what I mean? So you have to show people on how good you are. Even you say, let's put aside on business, let's put aside on career. Even if you want to find the right partner, you cannot expect your partner know you are good unless they give you a chance or give themselves a chance to find out more. Okay, so now let me actually um, guide you through into some of the gist that I find that is very important. I have actually, I have to change a little bit on the contents because most of you are, uh, students or unemployment, unless the people who join um, tell me if you are a, uh, what it call, if you are also a um, entrepreneur, okay, if you are in your own business, then this will be very helpful for you. Okay. Okay, can you see, see my screen? Now, when we talk about image and brand management, yeah, it's actually not about building it only. Now, a lot of people say, okay, so long I build it well. Well, just like when you enter a new work. When you are working, right, a lot of time you say, so long I'm hardworking, I'm good, that is good enough. So that's how I keep on waiting. Like you work, you wait, you wait. So a blink of eyes, a decade pass, and you are still there. I was once like that, I thought like, you know, if I'm there, I work hard, I get what I want, but actually the answer is not. So in fact, yeah, a brand is first to create and you must create it right, okay? After this, I will touch on a little bit on your right target audience, okay? Now, you have to first to create before you build. Just like some of the Chinese will mention that 选择比努力来得更加重要. If you choose right or if you create it raw, you are not able to build the right thing as well, okay? So now, so the whole idea in this coming an hour or a half an hour is about how you brand to shape the perception. It's not about looking good because who cares about if you dress right to your body shape, if you wear the right color. If you can get that right to me, it's a bonus. Even I'm an image consultant who has been in the industry for the past 15 years and I find yeah, what matters in is in how you are able first to create the right perception with the right target audience, okay? Secondly, is on how well you are able to create the alignment. What is alignment? In fact, if you talk about magic, there is no magic. It's all about paying attention to the details. Someone just mentioned, if I remember correctly, Christopher actually wrote that. Is it on the attention to details? In fact, in a way, 
Yes, partially, yes. Yeah. So when we talk about the alignment, how can we do that? Yeah. The marketing strategies we have to first look into sensory branding. How the thing is disturbing. You know how many of you love to watch those horror movies or the movie yeah, that uh, always get a watch one? You know? How many of you love to watch that? Anyone? I actually hate a uh, horror movie, you know. Why I do not like horror movies is because after I watch, it's very disturbing. So it's kind of like the, the hantu or whatever it is, keep, you know, like, like that. Lah. So the whole day, I will not feel good. You see, yeah, when we talk about all these things, right, what is more powerful is that whatever you see, huh? okay, after you see something, you hear something, after that, it's disturbing. This is what we want. How many of you, yeah, I'm not sure about men, but of course, a lot of women, when you see a dress, for example, so nice, you know, very pretty, you fit in well, the, the price, okay, affordable and stuff like that. If you do not buy the dress, you will scold yourself. So even after you left, right, then you are like, lo, lo, lin, lo, lo, lin, like that. You know, lo, lo, lin, means that you are, you know, you keep thinking about the dress in a way that is actually, one of the sensory branding whereby how can we actually use sensory okay to create yeah, or to create uh on how people can remember you better okay so because the world has changed you know throughout the year things have been changing so much it's very much into digitalization so now the question is how you use digital to create yeah, the humanizing sense yeah how you use digital to create the feeling that you want to leave on others, okay? So now, let me continue sharing on this one. I will not go in depth, yeah, but I've actually changed. Now, let us actually talk about the environment, environment and your brand. Be you are a student, you are unemployment, or you are an entrepreneur, self-employed or whatnot. So things have been changing so much, okay? No matter whether you are actually you know, uh, offering service, uh, services or products, this is something that we want to look into. Now, what matters, yeah, is not on, uh, okay, this is interesting because I did not show you the first things, yeah. It's not about how much you make the turnover. It's actually what matters is how much you put muscle pocket, okay, next. All right. Now, I always have something in mind, you know, that very disturbed me since young. All of you know that um, TV advertisement is very expensive, right? You no, know, TV expensive, especially if you have an ads during the peak hour, the news hour, that is so expensive. But most of the time, yeah, those of the ads yeah, are very cheap products, like Dynamo, Su Goose, Ribena, so I always wonder, you know, how many bottles of Ribena they need to sell in order to break even. So a lot of time, yeah, I find people, even myself those days, yeah, I, I, I did that. Okay, I thought that I want to have a very big net put into the sea and support all the small fish. Okay, but this is indeed a very silly act. Okay, now if you want to play that market, okay, you must make sure that you have a lot of resources to back that up. If you have a lean team, lean team means your team is your team is not big. It's either you are a lone ranger, solo, or you have a small team. In fact, you have to go into niche. Okay, you have to go into niche. Yeah. So the more you actually look into, I want to target all. I want to target more. You will go nowhere. Okay. So that one is actually sprint. You see instant result, instant inquiry, but you cannot last, okay? So, but that is not marathon. How can we have both? Now, when we talk about fast, yeah, there are a few criteria that you need to look into, okay? How are you position yourself well? How are you different? How are you able, yeah, to be innovative, okay? And have a few steps ahead of others. Then only you can fast. Now, a lot of time people thought that they are fast, but they are not fast, they are busy. Yet, it's not productive. Yes, maybe you see money, but it's very tiring. Okay, so if you know Chinese, yeah, I recently learned this one, it's called Li Pu Tao Hao. Okay, Hek Lek Pa Tao Ho. It takes up a lot of your time, but you cannot see money. Okay, so now, 
let me actually go further on this one. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so what's the future of image and brand management? Uh, so those days is very much into um, what they call uh, we talk about appearance a lot, but to me, again, I always emphasize this appearance. If you can get it right, it's a bonus. Okay, but of course, appearance is a must that you have to look into. Okay, because that it's up about 82% uh, on how people see you. Yeah, that is visual. Now, so a lot of successful brands, they are delivering feelings and emotions and how they uh, does that, yeah? So how does a brand deliver emotion? Okay, so when we talk about this, yeah, I'm not sure how many of you have a guess, you know, what is emotion and what is feeling, okay? Feeling is something very fast, quick. I feel happy, then I see something funny, I laugh, that's it. But emotion usually lasts longer. It's very disturbing, okay? Even after you hear something, someone tell you something, it's just a, a simple conversation, but it lasted in your brain for a long time. But that is actually disturbing. It disturbs your emotion, okay? Or, or even when you see a picture, okay? How does the picture disturb your emotion? So meaning to say now what we need to do is that how can we integrate both humanizing and digitalizing? How can you use choice of word, the choice of the picture you use, in creating emotion, okay, is actually by using five senses. The five senses is very powerful because we use our senses, yeah, as a perception. You perceive things by senses, okay. So now when we talk about senses, yeah, what other five senses? Now, senses is so important is because it is there since the day we were born, okay, and because of all this, yeah, it gives you pleasures, memories, feelings, and emotion. So that's the reason why the more we are able to activate the senses, the more we are able to get what we want. We have actually practiced this and a lot of big brands are using sensory branding whereby they are actually creating, yeah, not only the superficial feelings, but they are actually touching deep into you on how do you feel emotionally. Okay, so this is about power of sensory branding. All right. Um, do you all want to find out how to, uh, what they call, how memory works? How you yes. can actually make people remembering you by default? Oh, yes, of course. Especially you, me. A lot of people remembering you already. Okay, so now, how many of you have been to event? You exchange name card, and right after that, a week or two later, you look at a name card, you ask yourself, who's this fellow? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, right? Or maybe sometimes, yeah, you find a, hey, where I see you before, where, where, where? Same so like, how can same, you actually Same that? like, same like, Ang Pao la, when take Ang Pao, ah, must note down, you know. If not, I don't know who give who. I think a lot of people here, they just take, you know, they hardly give yet. You know, a lot of students, man. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of you are married. Like, yeah, yes, which is true. You know, even we collect the power, so we forgot it's from who and who. Okay. So interestingly, when we talk about how memory works, yeah, do you know if you tell people, I am forgetful, this is just an excuse. Memory is a choice. Okay. Memory is a choice. You choose what you want to remember. Okay, so when we talk about you, choose what you want to remember and how can we make people remember us? So the more senses we are able to activate positively, the more you get peak experience and the more you manage to make people remembering you, even digitally. Now, when I talk about digital, it's not only on Zoom. It's not only on the, uh, what do you call uh, it also includes an email or even how you present yourself in social media, okay? Um, now, so let me actually show you how that works, yeah? How memory works. Okay. And how much time I have, yeah? Actually, it's very dangerous. You ask me to speak, you know? I'm a <laughs> trainer. I used to speak the whole day, man. <laughs> actually, uh, you know, compared with yesterday in Tana, 
we have a uh, two way conversation lah. But since mm-hmm. you have been very well, very too much of uh, feedback, ah, okay lah. I I I just I, I, in fact I enjoy listening. What is your inputs? Uh, uh we have uh four thirty to five thirty. So mm-hmm. I I ask the last question at five thirty, and we will dismiss half an hour after five thirty, which ends at six o'clock. Okay, uh, don't so worry. No I I will touch on a, a few more. Then there you go. I think um after this, I will actually talk about relevance and differentiation. Mm-hmm. How you really find yourself different from others. Okay. So now, how memory works? Yeah. How many of you have friends? Ah, uh, the face always like you. Oh, that may not yet return like that. Full house, full mean one. The full house, full mean means that wow, the muka must sum to the max. Gola, always like thinking we owe owe him money like that. You know. Yes. Kind of face. Oh, oh, some people the face like so jovial, you know, they laugh all the way or whatever they see, they find that you know so easy lah, so positive. Now it depends, yeah, actually on what they are holding back, yeah, from the past. Now why we say so, yeah, you know, all of us we are from different background, different experience, even different childhood. So all this memory relationship, okay, affect yeah on how we actually. Uh, remember things, yeah. On what are the things that you hold on to remember, and this is also a partial on why people fall into depression. Now, sometimes some people, whatever you say, hey, this one can do, ah, can ah, can ah, everything also they say can do one. It's not because they are childish, you know. Perhaps maybe in the childhood time, everything they they have very smooth uh journey, so to them everything seems easy. But there are also a lot of people negative to the max. Whatever you say, they drain you. They cannot lie, cannot lie. Whatever they say, you stay also, they say cannot. I'm not sure how many of you sometimes after you meet a friend or whoever it is, yeah, after you meet the person, you feel yourself very tired, very drained. Yeah? So now, uh, I'm not going to show you on this one. Okay, that there, there's actually a video for that. I just want to tell you on how to maximize your senses. Okay, how powerful it is, yeah. If you manage, yeah, to activate other senses positively, just like why hotels they are so expensive and yet people still wanted to go and experience. Even first hotels, yeah, you check in and check out. It's not even 24 hours. And how much time you spend in a hotel? If you are traveling, most of the time you are out. Okay, but you are. So willing uh, to experience that, yeah. People are catching on this one. I know there are a lot of people are not so into this one, but uh, a lot of time I always ask this: if given a choice, if it is free, will you? Yes, yes, huh? So or even yeah, the what they call car service center or luxury brand management. Why their brand do not need to do a lot of advertisement and stuff like that? They do not need to call you, come lah, buy me lah, buy me, no need. Why is it so? Yeah. So there are two fastest way. The first one is actually called the reputation. The second is emotional arousal. How you manage yeah to ask people or to make people remembering you by default. Okay. So the simplest one when we talk about reputation, yeah. Uh, let's talk about human connection. How can you make people remember you? Let's say strangers. If you are going for events and whatnot, yeah, it's very simple. It's free some more. The first one is actually eye contact. The second one is just smile, and both are free. When we talk about eye contact, yeah, these are the two things, yeah, smile and eye contact that people are obliged to return when you are looking at a person. If they move their eye away, they are rude. If you smile to a person, <laughs> if they do not reply you with a smile, they are rude. So somehow these two things, yeah. When you repeat, you try this, yeah. If you you just try on strangers and it works all the time. You just need into that particular time frame. You look at the person, have eye contact, yeah, two to three times. You already go into the immediate memory. Just like a lot of time, yeah. Uh, let's ask the girls, yeah. Let's say you go to an event, you and a guy eye contact the first time, two times, okay, second time. Then after that, you will find a guy already. You trust me, you will find a guy. Okay, you will find you will spot. Hey, where is he, ma? It's just when we talk about reputation, uh, it's exactly on how guys pick up perempuan. Uh. They, okay. they stop the girls. Yeah, so they, they use reputation. And by default, yeah, let's say today you want to pick up a girl, okay? So you wait for her in this place, one day, two days, one week, two weeks. If one day you didn't appear, they will miss you. And why this fellow didn't come today? Ah, uh? yes, 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 correct. <laughs> That's why in social media, it's all about reputation. How you are repetitive appearing in a person. Now, at the right timing, and with the right, uh, what they call, 
um, choice of words and pictures, yeah, or even your action matters, yeah. But of course, this is the first. And then smile is also the same. Now, for female, I cannot touch more on about the emotion side or the EQ side. In fact, image and brand management contains EQ in it. Okay, self-awareness, self-regulation, self-motivation, social skills, all this is a life skills. But the second one is actually emotional arousal. How you arouse people's emotion, how you actually touch. When people read your thing, when people look at you and stuff like that, they also need very fast yeah, in you. If you manage to do this too well, I tell you what, you will attract the right thing in life. And people just like you and you can go fast and at the same time, if you do your uh, market, yeah, focus on your market right, you will actually go marathon. That means that it's not how fast you go, it's how long you can last. Just like business. A lot of business, who ha first two years after that, gone. Even a lot of consultant trainers, who ha one, two years after that, gone. Why is it so? It's because fast is not good enough, but fast and at the same time, last is very important. Okay, so now... Mm -hmm. uh, actually, actually, I, yeah. actually yeah. this reminds me of the uh, some shops uh, I mean selling the food right you see those uh, milk tea uh, shops mm -hmm. selling the, yes. the you know the, the very trend milk tea especially Penang la, here uh, they open uh, maybe I go to ship I sell for a few months come back cannot find already the shop and you might yes. you might be surprised those uh, people selling chakwitya without any advertisement they, they actually last very long I mean they even uh passed out to your children for the same business and they don't have any fancy fancy decoration or advertisement like those milk tea have on Facebook must click like lah, you know give the gift all the things in the end uh, they don't last long lah. so yeah yes. in fact a lot of time you do not need a lot of effort that's the reason why if you are busy make sure you are busy with productivity or production if you are busy you are just hovering because of uh, living of canister, we need to put food on the table. But those days, uh, I, I, when I recall, I think I was like a vacuum cleaner. You know, vacuum cleaner, I sapu everything, you know. Wow, money left, I sapu. But after a while, I find that wow, it takes up a lot of my time and the earning is just that. Okay? So I think I shared with some of you before, I apply the technique of luxury brand management. Do not get me wrong, you know. I'm not asking you to go for branded stuff and, stuff, uh, and, and things like that. But luxury brand management is very useful if you have a lean team, if you do not have much resources, also you do not have much money. Purely right. So people say, you sure not. You need to use a lot of money. It's here. Let's say when we talk about services, yeah. If you are solo or you have two or three people doing the thing, right? Let's say you put it to price it low. When you price it low, yes, you might have you might have quantity, but how let's say 300, I just put for example 300, you get uh 10 or maybe uh 50, so you get 50,000 for that month. But when you actually apply, you tweak it around, you use another strategy whereby you go very, very niche, okay? When you go niche, right, perhaps maybe one deal, you get 15,000. So meaning to say, yeah, I will put all my time into sharpening my, my saw and that sharpen make me faster. If you want to be fast, yeah, you must first, yeah, have your skills and ability at least three steps ahead of the people who are doing the same thing Okay, so let me actually explore to you something that I, I find that is very important, whereby it's actually on how you find your differentiation. Now, a lot of time, yeah, people will say that, you know, I have a lot of competitors, but if you really look at it, you don't have much competitors. When people ask me, hey, who's your competitor? I tell them I, I don't have many competitors. I don't have competitors. People say, wow, are you how or you, you so show up. I say, no, it's not because of that, okay? Because you know yourself well what you do and what you do not, okay? So now a very quick one. I Okay, this is the one. Now, I agree with uh, James, right? He mentioned that why sometimes yeah, they only spend little but their business sustain is because they are very high relevance. Okay, so now you can actually list them. Whatever you are doing, maybe you are working, you are having your own uh, business, you are self-employed or whatsoever. You just list down, you know, what are the things needed for what you are doing? 
what are the, the criteria or what are the services needed uh, for what you are doing. Let's say I quote, for example, I'm an image consultant. Okay, you just list down what other image consultant or what other services that an image consultant needs to offer, for example. You list down as much as you can, okay? So after you list down, okay, at least you know whether you are relevant or not. So a lot of time people focus on different sessions. They say, wow, USP. Maybe actually some people don't know how to define USP. Huh? So they say, I have USP. But the USP, okay, might not make them standing strong because they are not relevant, okay? So now, relevancy also onto the pictures. Let's say the things that you do, the pictures that you select. Now, uh, when I was actually in London, yeah, to, for the course of luxury brand management, uh, we actually did a case study about MS, okay? A brand MS. So MS, there was actually one time they changed the website into MS cartoony and instantly the sales drop to 30 percent drop 30 percent okay ms is actually very renowned it's very expensive everybody knows that it is very expensive but how come yeah once it changed to that the sales drop it's because they are not relevant always remember what you do yeah must be appealing to what the person want to see your target audience that's why a lot of time I always ask people for your info, how you dress up, how you do your makeup is not for you to see. I'm so sorry to say that because when you walk up, you cannot see your own face anymore. You cannot look at your body. Wow, so pretty, so pretty. You cannot see it anymore. So I have a very short story to share with you. Yeah? I have a very good friend. She was a model, very pretty. You always see her in a lot of magazine books, even buses, taxis, you see her. Because she was the Maggie Mee model and a lot more uh, TV commercial we used her. But she always come to me and complain, you know, Yo, my boyfriend, very poor one. Uh, all the guys that go after her all are being the same quality. But I apologize. I hope none of you are being the same. It's just a metaphor. Yeah? Okay. So what went wrong? How many of you, yeah, sometimes you go to the shopping mall, buy baju, you look at the baju, wow, this baju is so ugly, what got people buy me? I tell you what got people buy me. Because that baju will attract back their audience. So same goes to us, okay? So meaning to say, if you want to target that audience, if let's say you say, I want big fish, I don't want small fish anymore, you have to analyze what the big fish like. Man. If the big fish doesn't like tapum, you put tapum, it's actually you go nowhere, you know? That's how you're still hovering into the deals that attracted to this group. Okay? So now this part is actually something you just need to, what you need to do, yeah? Explain after that, you can do it yourself. Now we have one quadrant here, okay? How can the business last for years, 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 yeah? It is not because that they have very high differentiation. It's because they have very high relevance. What the industry needs, they have. What other have, they have. That's how they can actually go medical. Never die one, okay? But of course, you cannot see much improvement as well. Now, a lot of time, yeah, people want fancy stuff. Oh, well, I want this, I want that, okay? Then they thought they want high differentiation. Whatever relevance, they don't care about that. That's how this is for sprint. You can actually, maybe very short time, you make a blast, you make some sound, but you die very fast as well. Why is it so? It's because this is not relevant to the market, okay? So if you have a strong base or a strong foundation, means that whatever the list that you have just listed down, people have, you have, and at the same time, you, you cut off the don't want, you don't want job, yeah, or don't want to access work, focusing into building your differentiation. And that's how you stay into this one, whereby you can be fast and you can last long, okay? You can have high relevance, high differentiation. For those who are in business, what you need to do, you list down all your so-called competitors. Huh? You list down all of them first. You list down all of them, then you start, start, start to write, this person or this product or this brand, do what? Okay, you list down. After that, you plot it into this chart the quadrant, the person or the product or the services that is in the same quadrant with you only are your competitors. The rest of them, they are not. Because you cannot enter their market, they cannot enter your market. 
So they are not competitors. That's why people say, hey, you want to train a lot of image or something, you are creating a lot of competition. No, because it's, it's different. Okay, it's different. So it's depending on how you brand yourself. Yeah? So as of now, any question? Uh, no question. In fact, uh, there is one, uh, I received a message saying that uh, this session should be charged, you know, because uh, has been too many valuable uh, values that have been uh, said and it's free, you mean? So people has been uh, very much appreciated on this as well. And for uh, Mickey, don't worry, there's a recording session so you can see and I have a screenshot uh, once the recording is out. So there's one question from Mabel. She asked about uh, how do you be the three steps ahead of others? I believe it, it did, uh, uh, spoke on the quadrant, uh, explained it there, but maybe uh, mm -hmm. Wendy, you can elaborate more for, for okay. a question from her. Now, you see, uh, let me ask you, you just need to write, need not to answer me, uh, need not to answer. So, how, what I need you to do, you write down based on what you are doing, okay? Now, because whatever we do in the end of the day, we wish to have growth, okay? And the easiest growth for us to see, perhaps it might be monetary growth, huh? So what you need to do after this one, you just write down in what you are doing, what is your standard rate, what is called cheaper rate, and what is the high-end rate, okay? After you write down each of the pricing, you write down the criteria that, okay, this price, let's say, for example, you want to go and do a teeth, uh, teeth okay? So this, this dentist, they charge this one. So you write down why they charge this. Maybe the place not pretty, the place not, not right, you know, no staffing whatsoever. Like you just list down. After that, you evaluate yourself which one you are in, okay? Now, most of the time, what we experience is this one. A lot of time, People always say, why you pay me so low one, you know? My job is good, you know? My things is good or whatsoever, lah. okay? But when you say why people pay you low in the first place, the first question for me to you is that, how many of you uh, really put money for the things that you wanted people to pay you? You pay others before, first. Second, after you say, you list down the criteria, which one are you in now? I have seen many people, they are so good, you know, but they dare not charge high. They are so good, but they dare not charge high. What they are so afraid is that they feel very insecure. They scared, they lost the money. Now, this was something that many people experienced, including myself, whereby when the turning point for you to go advance, yeah, later I will answer how to be three steps ahead. You must first willing to let go some, okay? In Chinese, se te, se te, means that you must first do se, give away before you get more. Okay, this is one of the very powerful strategy whereby you have to actually let go. Okay, what you are currently doing. For example, if people are paying you 5,000 for your service, for example. Eh? So now you think that after you write down the list, wow, I am actually now worth 7,000, for example. So when the 5,000 comes to you, you say no, because this is not my rate, for example. Okay? So whether you are willing to do that or not. A lot of people always say, wow, Chien Lai Da Lai is money. Okay. So that is the first thing you have to consider. The second thing, how to do three steps ahead. Yeah? You have to do some, um, what they call, industry analyzation, qualitatively and quantitatively. Okay. So you list down already, what is it all about? And you must find something we call it as the pox. Yeah, so, so sorry, since you asked me this one, I need to show you these slides. This is useful even if you are working under body. Now, the differentiation strategy, a lot of people, they think that, okay, I am different. Okay, they always think that uh, because, you know, I my USP is this. But in fact, if you open your eyes big enough, right, yours is just a relevance, not differentiation. Now I have a few of these dogs, all of them, if you say uh, in simple words, one, one word to describe what are they, dogs. But they have individually different things. Like they have this name, like maybe Chihuahua, la, blue dog, whatsoever dog it is. Now what is called pops and what is called pops? Yeah? This is something that many people miss 
they thought that, oh, I have my USB, but in fact, your USB is not a USB. Okay, so the POX is actually called the points of parity. Points of parity means that it's not necessarily me, okay, but share with other brands. Just like a lot of people say, I am a certified image consultant. Only you certified me. Thousands of people also certified me. You get what I mean? So that is not something that you should shout about. This is the basic entry level, whereby that is called, okay, POPs, the points of parity. Just like if you're telling people, oh, I'm a luxury hotel, five star. Not only you five star, there are so many five star. So meaning to say you are nothing special. Okay, so, but whereas point of difference means that something that strongly associated with the brand, but could not find exactly the same. Okay, when we talk about this, I have actually given an example. Let's say, for example, Banjanan is actually a POPs. Not all hotels actually is in the case. Not all hotels have jaw thermal water. Not all hotels with the water throughout the whole place are actually hot, for example. But that is actually a point of difference. Even some way, okay? Not all hotels will have a team park right between, or maybe Lego Lab. So these are the point of differences. Okay, so after you understand this, yeah, let's say, for example, uh, okay, I'm not going to talk about this one. Now, if you are selling uh, orange juice and you keep telling people, you know what, my orange juice are got vitamin C, uh, it's better that you don't say it at all because expected vitamin C and orange juice is, is just there. But if you are telling me, you know what, I'm actually selling a soda drink, you know, uh, a gassy drink, but still got vitamin C, mean, meaning to say that there's something different that I want to find out. You get what I mean? So this is something that people are not aware. Just like when you say, oh, okay, I have very good thing, I have very good this, I'm very good that. But even how you make those things different is, is um, way more to actually see. Yeah? How to be different, how to go three steps ahead is that, let's say we are image consultants. So since my mom is actually asking, I am an image consultant, you are an image consultant. So if you just have the image certification, you can hardly go far. No matter what you teach, ballet, ballet is still the same thing. That's why a lot of image consultants, maybe they run out of topic. It's because that's all that you have. So you need to actually have new input. Just like if you suck it for you have a stomach ache. Okay, you have a stomach ache. You need, you cannot actually have the things released. You need to drain water. You need to add this, add this. Then only you can actually smoothly go out. Okay, Ex exact same thing. Meaning to say, even if you are this one, you still need other things to assist you. Okay into moving ahead yeah when people are doing what you are doing you are already not in the game you are already doing other things this is what we mentioned as three steps ahead and don't scare about people copying you when people copy you you should be proud because your things is good okay if yeah, people yeah, this copy one, you uh, if you sorry, sorry. yes yeah, yeah yeah can go continue continue no, no problem yeah, so what I mean is that when people copy you, means that your thing is good, one. Secondly, yeah, when people copy you, if you are stagnant, then too bad. <laughs> you will just like be another Nokia, another BB, Blackberry and stuff like that. So how can you advance? Because I see that a lot of time when people go into their peak already, very good, the bottleneck. Bottleneck, you still need to go through the breakthrough in order to be, you know, a hit. Lah. Yeah, something like that. Okay, any question? Ah, I like this, Julia. <laughs> yes, I agree with that. Plagiarism is the best form of flattery. Okay, once people copy you, those days that people copy, I feel very sad, you know, I feel very angry. Well, I think Susa, Susa, you go and copy, but after a while, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it means that you are already moving ahead. But we have to move fast, yeah, or else we will actually, uh, people will overtake us, yeah? Okay. <laughs> this, you know, actually, yeah. uh, this this quite uh, reminds me that my LinkedIn profile actually being copied uh, before on the summary part. Then uh, I was quite sad. La. In fact, I, I, I tried to block that person, you know, all this thing. Then I tried to think it another way, you know, like what you say. If people uh, copy what, what is my summary, my profile, exactly the same. Even I did the report to LinkedIn and all these things a few times. Then I'm thinking to myself, wow. Maybe maybe my, my summary attractive uh, or people or that, that person is not attractive enough, you know. So I, I try to think it another way. And uh, in fact, 
from after they have been copied my summary, then I try to look very details what I what I've written on my summary. Then from there I change it again. You know, it's like a part of evolution. You know, people once people copy you, right? So you don't just stagnant there, and at the same time you try to think, okay, now now you copy me. So on LinkedIn we have two or three people on the same summary. So it's time for me to move forward. Like it, it it's a sign, uh, You know, like for myself. Yeah. All right. And then another thing I learned from the China Sifu, yeah, the China, um, it is actually an EMBA. Mm -hmm. um, they call it as e chao -e So meaning to say, first you copy, second you innovate. Now, what is the difference between creativity and innov innovativity? Okay, so you must have both. If you are not creative enough, you cannot innovate. Now, creativity in what we do only comes when you are very good at it, okay? So if you are not good at that and you are very creative, you fall into the quadrant of high differentiation, low relevance. Learn up very fast. Okay, so that's why the foundation. Uh, Wendy, can you hear me? Hello? I think uh, we can't hear Wendy. Hi, you're muted. Yeah. Huh? I'm muted? Yes, can hear you now. It's now. now. Ah, okay, okay. No, because Shalene is writing in Mandarin. I say I'm a banana. I can speak a little, <laughs> but I cannot read. So I say I can read the yo. Yo chai. chai. I know yo chai, not yo chai. This one yo se, chai yo se. <laughs> tui, 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 tui. Because oh when God. you keep on holding, right, your hand is full, ma, you cannot get more. Yeah, I, um, you know, Salmons, you heard about a brand called Salmons, it's a skincare brand. Salmons, yeah, uh, I met the CEO. I had a chat with him about five years ago, and he actually gave me a spark as well. They are doing franchise business, yeah. So, this one of the Tao Kian Yang, yeah, one of the franchise owner, okay, who took the franchise, she has about five uh, uh outlet, lah, facial center. Oh, so, sure. but because of this five facial center, yeah, one is making a lot of money, the rest, so it's covered here and there. So in the end, when you talk about how much you enter pocket, not much, okay, but it looks good. Now, those days, yeah, when people do business, they want to open a lot. But if you notice, yeah, the, today after the pandemic hit, right, the open a lot one die faster <laughs> because of the overhead cost kills. Okay, so now the, the easiest or what we talk of like the good strategy is on how you can actually minimize your cost and maximize the profit is where you only, yeah, you only do something very niche, just like a GP and a specialist. A GP, let's say you fever, you go and see the GP, they say 300, you will kill the whole family, you curse. So, man. I fever, so you charge me 300. But if a specialist charge you 300, you go out, you say, lucky, so cheap. Mm. So be a specialist and not a GP. Don't be a vacuum cleaner like how I was before. Those days, I was a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, but after a while, last time, I do 10 days, for example, to get X amount of money. But now you maybe do one day, you get the X amount of money. And the rest of the time, you use it for sh sharpening your store. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Right. So we almost coming to the end of the session. Uh, as promised, I have one uh, very favorite question that I have for all the gem speaker. So if you have, uh, Wendy, if you have one uh, superpower, what will that be and why? Myself, uh, one superpower. Yes. Okay. I want to have the ability to know what the person thinks. It's kind of a mind reading thing. Wow. <laughs> okay. Actually, in fact, yeah, this thing has been very close uh, at my heart, you know. Mm -hmm. And I supposed to go to um, Europe, yeah, to talk up a neuroscience and uh, the philosophy of minds. Now, to me, yeah, whatever business we are in is not because of skills. I see many people, their skills is good, but they might not be able to go far. Okay, so now, uh, recently, I started to uh, come up with my own stuff, yeah? Now, from what you choose, a picture, a, a shade of colors and whatnot, how we wear, okay, what you say, it tells a lot about the person, okay? 
And we even tested yeah, how this group of people will think. It's very much into you observe the pattern. We are all human. And recently, because we do a lot of the Zoom meet, right? I even try to do rapport building over screen. You know, how can we build rapport in the shortest time? So a lot of time, yeah, to me, the most powerful thing is not how much I could charge. It's how much I can see through you. Yeah, so if you say that, what is your superpower? I wish that I can actually mind read everyone that I actually meet. Yeah? Wow, very danger, this one. Maybe the husband will kenal first lah. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Thank you very much, uh, Wendy. Uh, I, I would like to uh, open up a breakout room like uh, yesterday we had. So um, there will be a random selection for the breakout room. So perhaps uh, during this time, people uh, might be able to, you know, to get to know each other more and share about the things that they learn on this uh, Wendy talking. And I'm very sure Wendy, you know, uh, she has many things to share as well, but uh, times is coming up. And perhaps after the breakup room uh, for a few minutes, we can come back and have a further, you know, uh, Q&A session. So now we have, um, how many people here? Let me see. We have 17. Is Carvin, uh one of us? Or, I mean, uh, is it duplicate account or she's alone, independent? James, I, I have a duplicate. Oh, duplicate. Uh, uh? Yeah, I have a duplicate. Oh, okay, so duplicate. Now we have 17. Um, 16 now. Uh, 16 minus 2 is 14. Okay, so we will make it to um, 7 rooms. All right. We're going now. Room six. Okay, let me see. Uh, uh, this one, uh, Mickey. Wait, let Mickey can be in. Why some of them are not on the room? Uh? What's the? Is it some setting? Uh, Wendy, are, are you are you good in this? Yeah, you mean because they have to accept. Uh, if they are not accepting, then they will stay in the main room. Oh, like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, unless you put them, you you put them in. But I already moved in, but they are not joined. Like hi, yeah. hi far, right? Wait, let me see. Hi far is yeah, alone. Hi far and, uh... Yeah, they are still there. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about this? Wait, uh, wait. J J Wen J, wait uh, Wen J, yeah. where is Wen J? Cannot find where is him uh, on the list. Cannot click. Yeah. Hey Wen J, can you? Wen J maybe uh away, including Haifa. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe they are not here. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to be safe, you mm -hmm. can actually put them into the waiting room. Waiting so 